Is it doing? Yep, we're doing it. We're recording. Hello. Okay, what's your name? Yeah. Bud. Bud E. Baker. Bud E. Baker. This is Bud E. Baker, and I'm Doc Bread Baker, and today we're going to do caraway rye loaf. Our ingredients are one tablespoon of sugar, one cup of warm water, two packs of dry yeast, one cup of warm milk. It's 110 to 115 degrees for the warmness there. A quarter cup of molasses, quarter cup of oil, half one tablespoon vinegar, right? Half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons caraway seed. We have uh, two cups dark rye flour, four cups of bread flour, and two tablespoons of diced onions diced dried onions. So I took my dried onions and diced them up. They went all over the place, but we got them. And my puppies helped clean it up. And okay. I ate some. <laughs> and he ate some, that's right. So it says in a large bowl dissolve one teaspoon of sugar in warm water. Okay, so I have my big bowl. Yep. I have my warm water. Pull it in. Just make sure in warm water. So this is the warm water in the big bowl. We're going to put the sugar in, right? That's what mm -hmm. it says. And the large bowl dissolve sugar. One table, a teaspoon of sugar in the warm water. Stir in the dry active yeast. Oh. Let go. That, that was it. That's the yeast, right? Stir it in. We'll have to stir it in. You want to stir it in, Buggy? Yeah. We'll stir it up. Easy. Just take it easy. Okay. Make sure it's all wet. Smell it. Smell the yeast? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me stir a little. I want to make sure I get all the sides. I didn't want to stir it too fast because then I will be... Then get it, it all over? You didn't want yeah. to get it all over? Okay, yeah. that's good. That was good. I just want to make sure it's all in there. We'll have to let it sit for, it says, five minutes. Here, let's set the timer. We'll clear this. The timer. 5 oh, oh, and we'll hit start. Now it's timing. I'm just going to stir this up a little more. And then we can, and then we will really get it sit. Right, then we'll let it sit. Five minutes. Trying to get the big pieces out. So it's all going to dissolve, which is good. There's some big pieces. And then, the then you'll see it foam up. It'll foam up if it's good. If the yeast is good, it should get foamy. If it's no good, and we'll have to start over again with different yeast. Okay, we're going to pause because we're not going to let it run for five minutes and watch it, right? Mm-hmm.